Uncle Publish with Aaron's Laundry Laura. And he's going to be making a return. And uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description to the article. You guys can check that out. Um, published by um, senior writer Dan Raphael, ESPN. And Aaron's Laundry Laura fought Brian Castano in his last fight. In a very close fight and where I felt maybe Castano um, edged it. But um, that fight ended up ended up being a draw. And uh, Arizona De Laura, you know, this guy's uh, just, you know, put the Cubans on, you know. Him, Luis Ortiz, uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux, you know, the, these guys was going on a tear. And um, they were pretty much at the top at one point. And uh, we seen Rigondeaux, you know, uh, drop down. We seen uh, Ortiz drop down, literally drool on the canvas and then um we seen laura drop down to her and um since then it's been rough you know it's been a little uphill battle and uh, i remember i was pushing for arizlandi laura to fight jamel charlo when he called out jamel charlo and jamel charlo acted like he was on vacation and he turned off his wi-fi or something and um so that's when i started looking at that lines only stuff like okay okay this is just an act this is just an act. You know what I'm saying? But Laura is um, being ordered to face his opponent in this uh, four-man uh, tournament in middleweight division. And um, But we got to give uh, Arizlandi Laura his uh, respect and credit as a boxer. This guy uh, once held the WBA and IBO straps, which her took from him. But um, he went on a, he went on a um, good little win streak in his defenses. You know of his titles so you know he's one of those guys that um you know he's very physically strong he's got that uh awkward cuban southpaw style and um he got power he's accurate and that's where his power come from so i think laura is still a problem in the uh super welterweight division but um we got to see um with his age and after coming off a devastating loss to her, if this guy really has a lot of hunger to, to come back and um, you know, get back at the top. I'm not call, I'm not counting them out, but it's gonna be a tough road. Super welterweight division is stacked, and um, it's not gonna be easy for Laura. It's not. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts on Laura making his return. Make sure y'all check out the article in the description. Big salute to all my brothers in the UDC clique.